managing tasks just became much simpler. Microsoft recently introduced the new planner. It's available inside Teams. Go to Teams, click on the three dots in the left side menu, search for planner and click on it. I am sure you will find it useful. So as soon as it gets added, right click on it and choose pin so that icon stays there. This is included as a part of Office 365. There is a premium version, but we'll cover that in a separate video. Just divide tasks into two categories, depending on who gave you the task. If you give the task to yourself, that's a private task and you create it directly inside Planner. Another one is you got a mail. You flagged the mail because you thought it's a task and you did all that in Outlook, but now you can see it in Planner as well. The other category is someone else gave those tasks to you, delegated tasks. Those are called assigned to me. Where do they originate from? Well, any place where there is a loop component called tasks, which means email, Word, Teams, chat and channels, meetings, and also formal planner shared task lists, which are a part of Teams channels. So in short, whichever category of tasks you have to look at, you go to planner. Simple. So let's see planner in detail. It's a good idea to open this menu. Let's focus on my task first. All includes the other three. The second column called source will give you private tasks. Assigned to me types will tell you from where they are coming. So these are loop components. It also shows you flagged emails. When you see something like this, these are plans, which is the second category. So what are my plans? Well, plans means basically a sort of shared task list. There are two types of shared task list. One is I create a plan here and then add people to it or groups to it. Or I have teams and in teams I have channels and in every channel potentially I can have a shared task list. So I have a team called procurement. I have multiple channels there for different RFPs and in those channels for laptops RFP, I have laptop tasks and so on and so forth. So these are multiple shared task lists. I can also create personal task lists by saying new plan from here and not add anybody else in it. Whichever task lists I like, I can pin them and then they will appear under pin. So in day to day practice, I would say you go to my tasks, look at all, maybe sort by priority, go from top to bottom. My day is for short term planning. By default, it is empty. Of course, you can add a task there if you like, but it's more common where you're looking at your tasks and planning saying, okay, this is the thing I will do today. So right click on it and you'll always find add to my day. Any type of task can be added to my day. There's a loop task. There's a flagged email in Outlook. And this is a task coming from a channel shared task list. So when I go to my day, I will see all of them there. When I finish a task, I mark it as complete. If I don't end up finishing something which I planned for today, of course, it will carry forward to tomorrow. At least as of now, there doesn't seem to be any way where I can see the total count of various tasks pending. Hopefully that feature will be added soon. To add a new task for yourself, go to my tasks and click on add task or better still go to my day and add a task. In the task, you can change the priority and also give a due date. Save it. Now that may sound like a very primitive task, but no, there are many other things you can specify for a task. The way to do it is first add the task, then click on it. And now you get to see a lot of things. One of them is a bucket. Now, because it's a private task, there's only one bucket called to do. Progress, three types, priority, start date, end date, recurrence. Yes, very much. And because it's a private task, you have given it to yourself. So there is no way of delegating it. So another option I have is I don't want just flat tasks. Those tasks are related. Maybe it's a to-do list 
it's a checklist, it's a shopping list. Then I create a new plan. I'm going to create a simple basic plan and I'll call it pre session checklist. I'm not going to add a group because there's a list only for myself. Now, when I create a plan, I can see it in various different ways. This is called a board view, simple list view, and that's what I want. I conduct a lot of sessions. Before the session starts, I have a checklist. So I'm going to just add those items. Now, before every session, I'm going to go and say, okay, this is done, this is done, and so on. Now, when you want to delegate tasks, there are multiple ways available depending on what is the objective. The simplest is I have few people involved, I want to execute the work, and that's it. I don't want anything else. Then you create a plan in Planner. In fact, here we have just created a plan. I also see a column called assignment, but when I click there, it just gives me my name because there's nobody else here. So if I want to assign it to someone, I just type the name of the person and then once I add it, it says, oh, this plan was private to you. Do you want to add this person to a group and assign the task? You say, yes, that's one way of doing it. Other way is to click on this add members button, explicitly go there and add the username, one or more, and then invite them. Once this is done, now I can decide who is supposed to do what. The other side of the story is, how will this assistant know that I have assigned a task? Well, you already know the answer. Here I have logged in as the assistant and I have gone to my task under assigned to me. I can see these two tasks, bandwidth and open presentations. So that's how everyone has a clear picture of their workload irrespective of where the work originated from. The other way to delegate is, yes, you want to give tasks but there are multiple people involved and you also want to discuss, coordinate, have some other data, file sharing, all of that. In that case, I've already put them in a group chat and now I want to add tasks and delegate them. So you simply type a message, but go to loop components and there we have a task list. So I'm adding a task here. Again, I can assign it to relevant people, specify a due date and I'm done. So you have all the features of chat plus unified task delegation. Needless to say, in assistance planner, the assigned to me section will show the task instantly. The other variation or requirement is a more formal project plan or a shared task list. As you know, we don't manage projects using email or chat. We go to teams and create a team inside and create multiple channels there. So now, for example, I wanted to create a shared task list for planning or product launch. I go to the plus sign. I will find the same planner icon there. And now I'm creating a new plan or a shared task list. By default, it will be in board view where I have different buckets, multiple tasks. I can assign them to people, give a deadline. And at any point of time, I can change the board view. When I choose group by progress, it becomes a Kanban view, not started, in progress, completed. Or I can see it as a simple list. I can even see it as calendar or as graphical view. If you need link tasks, dependencies, Gantt chart, copilot, then you need the premium plan. So here is the summary. My own tasks I can directly add, create checklists or to-do lists, or simply flag email. For delegation, I have multiple options depending on what I'm trying to do. Try this out and let me know if you like it. If you find it useful, share it with as many people as you can. And to become more efficient in day-to-day -day work, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon and like the video. So that's it for now. See you next time. Thank you.